Hello there, folks. Mila Salal back again. We need to have a bit of a chat. Um, a chat about what, you may ask, uh, my good viewers. A little thing called Project Tiger Moth. Now, what the hell is it? That was the first thing I noticed when it was announced. Um, I understand that hype, a lot of hype was drawn to it, uh, by, by, um, the Unlucky Tugs, um, Season 5 Retrospective, I believe it was, that, so a lot of hype was, uh, drawn to it, uh, via that, and... Honestly, a lot of people like what they see. Let's just say that. This is a highly, highly anticipated project, which... The hype came out of nowhere, okay? This- we were blindsided by this project that just legit just- just- <laughs> legit just completely blindsided us. Now, I missed the premiere of it for obvious reasons, so I could uh, do a reaction to it and give you guys my thoughts on it. But to be honest, most of it will be me just taking this in, to be honest, because this is a this is a huge moment in the fandom. Never before has something been seen where people have actually attempted to properly recreate the feel of the original series, which I'm guessing what this is, because that's what's got people most hyped, is the use of the feel, the aesthetic, and um, it's done in Gage 1. So it's done in Gage 1 models, it's done with... Um, like, it's absolutely stellar, apparent. Like, this this project is huge. Like, I can't even understate that. I can't even overstate that, sorry. But this is... Nothing has ever been seen like, like this before. And to be honest, I don't know what to expect from it. At all. Like, I seriously don't know what to expect from it. So, um, hence the reaction. So, um, and also, I must emphasize... This uh, reaction, this video is also being going to be used in uh, my good friend, the Amazing Gamers, uh, Tanky's React episode of, um, like, Tanky's React of this um, series. So thank you so, so much, Charlie, for um, getting me in this project, in that project, um, not uh, Project Tiger Moth. I fucking wish I was in that project, but um, <laughs> let's see what this bad boy's like. So, um... It's called... We finally have an episode title for it. Um, hang on a minute. So, uh, yeah, we finally have uh, the episode... We finally have the episode title. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's entitled The Good Old Days, which I'm guessing is going to be very, very poetic. Um, a very kind of poetic kind of reminder of how this is a return to the good old days. Kind of... For is it forcing it down... Is it, thor is it forcing it down... Is it forcing it down our throats? I don't think so. I think after the shit we've been through in our fandom, we kind of, we need a little bit of nostalgia, to be honest. And I say shit, like, apparently some sources say that All Engines Go is getting good now, but I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I'll believe it when they actually goes back to the old art style like this one, so... <laughs> but, um, in any case... Um, this is a fan-made model series, which I didn't realise it was at first. I only found out, really, uh, when I saw the title, that this was actually fan-made. Because it looks very, very professional, from what I can see. It looks incredibly professional. So, um... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Welcome back to the good old days, um, of Thomas. <laughs> Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too, and... Honestly, I- I- I'm speechless. I just- I just want to get into this real quickly. I'm so eager. To see what this is like. Oh, the windmill! Got a pack of wa pink wafers with me as well. <laughs> a classic biscuit for a bit of nos a nostalgic biscuit for a bit of nostalgic content. Bridge. Oh my god, the bridge! It's the bridge! Oh, fuck, well, I've missed you, buddy! Come back! One morning, 
Toby the tram engine was feeling glum. The other engines were busy. Wait a minute. Is that? That can't be. I'm not sure. That can't be who I'm thinking it is. Yo, 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 Vin, yo, Vinny, if you, if you, if it is you, reveal yourself because I'm, my brain is being fucked with here. <laughs> uh. But poor Toby hadn't taken any passengers with Henry Redder for weeks, only shunting freight cars in the yard. Oh, his narration gives me real, Just like, golden vibes. I'm not gonna water. lie. Oh, hello, Gordon, said Toby sadly. Are you pulling the express today? Who else but me? Huffed Ward. You're lucky to always have passengers, remarked Toby. You know, Henrietta and I haven't gone this long without passengers since. So what I can tell from the aesthetic, it's it's a mix between um, season three and season five. It's got very season three-esque lighting, but you can tell from like the audio and like the sound effects and the music, it's very season five-esque. So it's a nice kind of hybrid of two of my, of two actually, of uh, my two favorite seasons actually, as a matter of fact. Well, not since my old tramway closed down. Then Toby remembered. It was back in the good old days, chuckled Toby. Old footage! Old footage! Old footage! And Henrietta was always busting. This is actually, to be fair, this is actually a technique they used in the series as well. They took footage from actual um, previous episodes in the series as flashbacks, so. <laughs> They'd visit us on holidays. It's part of their actual and style. always remembered our names. But then they stopped coming back. My line was closed. And the good old days were over. Yep. It would be nice to have my own tramway again, sighed Toby. Like having my own branch line. <sighs> oh! Snorted Gordon. Branch oh. lines are just- They're trying to put emphasis how Toby is the old one here when Gordon has more wrinkles on his face than Toby does. Uses extensions of the important main line. That's all Sir Topham Hack cares about. <laughs> Look at him, he needs, he needs moisturizer or something. I'll hook you up with sure. Just then, it won't Thomas let you down. <laughs> some freight cars. He saw Toby, looking dismayed. What's the matter? Asked Thomas. Oh, just miss being useful, replied Toby. If I could just have some work to do, he said sadly. Thomas smiled. Well, you can take that train of building supplies to Percy for me, said Thomas. They're needed up at the work site of the new main line extension. Yes. Then I'll be able to collect your top and hat early, and you'll have some work to do. Toby was excited, though the extension was news to him. Come on, Toby, said his driver. We'll take Thomas's branch line and give you a nice long run. <sighs> Toby was- I'm sorry, I'm not really saying anything. I'm just trying to take this all in because this is insane! He's now beaming with joy. He reversed onto the train of supplies that set off for the work site. Oh my god. As he puffed down the line. He couldn't stop hey, it's the better view. Hey, it's the better view for Gordon's uh, <laughs> siding. I fuck that. <laughs> hey, it's the better view for Gordon's siding. Sir Topham Hat really does only care about the main line. He thought to himself. Ah, oh, that line hits different. If you think about the po if you think about the poetry and context behind that line, that hits different. That line. But we only care about the. the they only care. Mattel only cares about main line success. And so they only care about like money. The thing that most brings in money, AKA toys. So there's a real metaphor there. Oh, that hits different. Meanwhile, Percy was fuming. Where's Thomas? I'm exhausted. Oh, the classic Percy face. He'll be here soon, suit his driver. That driver does not look like he should be there at all. Like he looks so green screened in. <laughs> Mind him not to spoil the surprise. Percy was puzzled. What surprise? Before his driver could answer, Toby arrived. Here are the building supplies, Percy, he panted. The building Toby, supplies or the building what supplies? What are you doing here? He, he rushed that line, I'm sorry. Say. Thomas said I could deliver these supplies for him. <laughs> what else I can do to help? Percy eyed a long line of chills. Man, of chills. You can take those cars back to the yards for me, he replied. The train looked quite heavy for Toby, but he agreed. He rolled onto the special junction, called a Y, to change direction. He then buffered up to the heavy train and saw his way. Look at this, man! Look at it! Soon, Toby was Look at it! Train of freight cars up a big Look hill. at this! He made a tremendous effort. But ah, oh, the use of the classic, like, camera technique as well, with the, like, overshot of the he train. The, top, the weight of the cars became too much for him. 
his driver shut off steam and applied the brakes, but it was too late. Of course, a classic runaway. As Toby thundered toward the work site, he saw Percy dead ahead on his track. Look out, Percy! cried Toby. Toby rocketed past Percy into some bushes near the work site. Oh Toby no, he's coming straight for Oh I forgot to I forgot to do the joke. Oh no, he's heading straight for me! With all his might. Face stop in front of an old station with an old shed. When Toby opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy pulled up behind him. I thought for a second that was the station from Oliver's find. Are you alright, Toby? He gasped. Toby was bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is my old tramway. And look, there's my old shed. I, I, I never thought I'd see it again. Just then, Thomas arrived with a work group and Sir Topham Hatt. He spoke sternly to Toby. You should know your own strength by now, Toby. He boomed. Why the hell is the Fat Controller being a dick? Like, honestly, that's one of my biggest pet peeves with the show. Why is he a dick for no reason? It doesn't make any sense. Sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad- Also, look at that model. He looks- Well, one, he looks slim as hell. But you can also tell there's like- There's a lack of kind of rosiness in his cheeks. Like a, like a lack of blushing, really. So it's kind of, his model's very, very different, I've noticed. So I suppose like not everything's kind of like taken from the original series. Like they had to do some models from scratch. Had to see you're safe. Though it's a shame you've spoiled your surprise. Toby was confused. My surprise, sir? A surprise for Percy? Top of oh wait, that's Toby. Oh yeah, yes, right. Toby. <laughs> Our new extension is in fact a restoration. We are restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. Such a great way to start a, start a series, man. If this is a series, I'm guessing. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. He cheered happily. When the restoration was completed... It's the little things! It's the little things! Like, that little cuts, like, similar to how they do it in the actual show. It's those little things, those little details that just... Oh, they send shivers down my spine, man! Toby and Henrietta took a special charter of friends, old and new down the line of an opening run. Ooh, friends! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't make that kind of joke now. For Toby, it seemed the good old days were here to stay. You know it, baby! You know it! Alright, let's see the production crew behind this. Holy moly! <laughs> That's a lot of people. Yeah, Robert McGee. So... That might be... Jonathan Saville. Oh no. Woo! Mirko Donlan Jr. came back for the music! Oh, for fuck's sake. Buff- Had to buffer there! Jacob Jarrett and Robert McGee. Oh... <laughs> Ho Lee Crap. Well folks We're back. We are back. Come on. Like come on. Come on. You've got to agree with me. We are back! We are so so back. We are meta backwards driving levels are back. Okay? We are Terminator levels are back. We are back. This fandom, baby, I tell you, we can do amazing things. And this is just, this might top them all. I'm not gonna lie. If, if this is the start of something new, I swear to God. <sighs> This will leave its mark. This will leave. It this is making a statement. Okay, this is more than just making its f its its mark on the fandom. It's turning it upside down. That's what this thing is doing. 
The people, every single one of you that worked on this, I bow to you. <laughs> no, but all, in all seriousness, this is absolutely amazing. Like, absolutely incredible. Like, just the little details, commitment, dedication to um, matching the original tone and feel of the show in those in those golden days. Absolutely just fantastic. It's It's so much commitment, so much work. All this came out of nowhere. How did no one hear about this? How is there no hype for this until like very recently? How did this just come out of nowhere and just transform the fandom? I have no idea how this went overlooked for so long, but I'm glad it didn't when it mattered most. Because honestly, this is something special. And quite frankly, I think it's only the beginning. Like honestly, I think I have a I have a gut feeling about this, guys. I just have a something inside me just kind of tells that this is not the end. This is the beginning. This is not a one-off thing. This is not well, if and even if it is, it's just it's the spark we needed as creators, as innovators, as YouTubers, content creators, or if you work on Twitter, if you're a writer, or like a model maker, or anything in this fandom, musician. Use this as a piece of inspiration. Because honestly, people can do amazing things when in groups, and when they put their minds to it. When you put a group of talented people together, and such as in a fandom, or just any place in general, when you have that group of, I don't even know when to describe it, but just this fandom is a golden combination of talent, passion, commitment, and straight up heart. This fandom has a lot of heart. I know there's like the whole, the whole, the odd toxic argument on Twitter or the, or the, or the rant video saying, oh my god, all engines go, we'll never be good again. Do I look like a guy who cares? When we have this. We have this. Something to inspire us. Something to take forward. Make clear that this is just the beginning. That we don't have to live by the show alone. We make our own content. We make our own statement. We do our own thing. We deliver. That's what this fandom does. And honestly, this is just, honestly, this isn't like a, like a kind of, I'm not really at all surprised by this because this is just re-emphasizing what I already knew about this fandom. What I already believed about this fandom and what they wanted. Because I know that there's so much passion in this fandom. Just people were just afraid. I genuinely think people were just afraid to get it out because of how shit the show was. And like Mattel's iron grip on the rights and the, uh, and the content of the show. But... Who needs the Mattel archives? Who needs, who needs like all engines go? Who needs that shit writing and animation? Who needs that loss of feel and emotion that we fell in love with the show originally? Who needs any of that? And look at what we're doing at it compared to other fandoms. Think of so many, so many children's shows that have been ruined as a result of people being consumed by greed. Bob the Builder. Postman Pat. Angelina Ballerina, though nobody really cared about that show to begin with. <laughs> it's, a, it's a girl show, right? Cooties! But you see my point. There are so many shows. Fireman Sam. All these shows that have been ruined, that have been burnt to the ground to the point, burnt to the point where we don't recognize them physically anymore. We don't recognize what those shows are. And do they have a fandom doing stuff like this surrounding it? Do they keep it keep it alive? No. I mean, from what I can see, like, no. 
Certainly nothing on this scale. I think everyone in this fandom should be feeling, even if you don't do content in this fandom, everyone in this fandom should be feeling a little bit proud of themselves right now. I certainly am. And everyone on the Tankies React crew, you as well, like just, and everyone watching this video who loves Thomas, you should be really proud of yourself. Because honestly, this is, our support has helped this project get to the level that it has. Honestly, I'm so excited for the future now. But guys, if you, if you're out there and you want to make a difference, like, to this fandom, this will give you the strength to do that. This will, um, show you. This shows, this shows me, certainly, as someone who's very busy and kind of very, very, um, <laughs> like, very, very exhausted from everything and just a little bit kind of depressed about some stuff. This is inspiring for me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this forward and I'm gonna try and make a difference. I It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, it may not be anytime soon, but I will make a difference as a result of this because this is something that inspires others. This will inspire others. People will take this and people will treasure it. People will keep it in a glass box and treasure it, stop it from getting any dust from anything, breaking it, keep this concealed and use this as a flagship for you to take forward. Because this is a blooming flower in a desolate winter. I'm going very poetic here, I know, but it's true. This is something special. And we need to support it. And we need to build upon it. We need to make, we need to make new stuff. This is something, this is something, like, one thing I've noticed with this fandom is, like, we've not really been brave enough to try anything new. I'm not brave enough to try anything new. I'm not brave, I'm really not brave enough. Because I'm just, I'm not a very creative person, to be honest, but I've been a part of so many fantastic projects that have attempted to make something new. And there are certain things which I look at from this fandom as well, people who just aren't brave enough to try something new, people are going the exact same old routine, like a trains video or something with their toys and stuff like that, or like a review or a reaction. But <laughs> this is something new. This is something brave. This is something creative. And we can only go up from here with this impact that this is making on the fandom. This will reverberate and it will make us stronger as a community, as people, and we will basically do amazing things as a result of this. You guys are all incredible. You just need to believe it and not be afraid to seek it. That's why, that's literally, that's why all the time I always say, like, you guys are amazing. Not for your support or for your, um, like, compliments and stuff. Your nice comments or stuff like that. But because of you. Because you got every single one of us is amazing. At some point or another, we are all amazing people. So, thank you guys for joining me and watching this video. And honestly, I feel a little bit... I feel the future's a little bit brighter having watched this, and I hope you guys do too. This is Little Al speaking, I'll see you guys next time.